Us now in the fallout from President Trump's announcement that he's been taking hydroxychloroquine to prevent COVID-19, despite the FDA's warning that it's not proven to be safe and effective. Our senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega has the latest. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, George, good morning to you. Even in the face of this lack of evidence of hydroxychloroquine's effectiveness in preventing COVID, President Trump, he is not backing down. He's slamming one critical study is anti-Trump. He says the drug has become political because he's the one who's been endorsing it publicly. He also says so far he's not experiencing any side effects. But we've also now heard from the vice president yesterday who said that he is not taking hydroxychloroquine because his doctor has not recommended it. But again, George, we've got to en em underscore here and emphasize that doctors that we've spoken to and even the FDA warn of the potential dangers in taking this drug for COVID outside of a hospital or a clinical trial site. Right. Don't do anything without checking with your doctor. Meanwhile, Cecilia Washington is also dealing with the economic fallout. The president and top officials on Capitol Hill yesterday, and there seems to be a real split developing over the next relief package from Congress. Exactly. We're talking about the top economic policy leaders in the country. They're delivering two conflicting messages before the Senate. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, he's saying that America must get back to work. If a shutdown persists, he's warning of potential permanent economic damage. And then on the other hand, you've got Fed Chair Jerome Powell, who says an economic rebound would need to include getting the virus under control and developing a vaccine so Americans feel safe returning back to work. He's also now questioning whether that $3 trillion aid package approved by Congress is enough. Okay, so you make it. thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.